Hi, Tony here from EmpowerMeFirst.College. In the last video, we drew a graph that showed a relationship between a distance traveled by cab and the price of the ride for that distance. In this video, we're going to do another example. Let's say we have different cell phone carriers that charge as follows. Carrier 1 charges $10 as a flat fee per month and then $4 for each gigabyte of data. And we have carrier 2 that charges $20 per month as a flat fee and then $3 per gigabyte of data. Now, pause the video and find the quantity of data for which they charge the same price. Here is a hint if you are not sure how to approach it. You need to first write the two equations that correspond to these two scenarios, then set these two equations equal to each other and solve. So now that I gave you a hint, try it again if you couldn't do it. If you still can't do it, rewatch the video where we do that for the cab drivers. Then apply the same approach to these two carriers. All right, so let's use P for price and G for gigabytes and write the equation as follows. So for P1, the price of the first carrier is calculated by taking 10 as a flat fee, so 10 doesn't get multiplied by anything. It doesn't change with the amount of data that is consumed. And to this 10 of flat fee, we add 4G. So 4 is for $4 that is multiplied by the number of time we consume one gigabyte of data. And for P2, the flat fee is 20 and the amount of data that is consumed gets multiplied by three, which is the price in dollar for one gigabyte of data. Now that we have these equations, we set them equal to each other. We can leave the P's out for now. So this is what we get. We throw all the G's on one side. 4G minus 3G is equal to 1G. We don't need the one, we can just write it as G. So we have 10 plus G equals 20. Now we want G alone on one side. So we're gonna throw this 10 on the other side. And what happens when we do that? We have to change its sign and 20 minus 10 is 10. So the value of G is 10. And what we just did tells us that for 10 gigabytes of data, both carriers charge the same price. Next, we might be interested in knowing how much it will set you back if you consume 10 gigabytes of data during a month with any of these two carriers. So hopefully you did it. Remember that only by doing it, you're going to learn. You're not going to learn by only watching the videos. You really need to do it yourself. Now we take this value of 10, knowing that P1 and P2 are going to be the same, and we throw it in any of these two equations. Let's go with the second one. This 3G is going to become 3 times 10. And solving, we get 20 plus 3 times 10. 3 times 10 is 30. 20 plus 30 is equal to 50. Now we know that for 10 gigabytes of data, regardless of the carrier you choose, the price is going to be $50 per month. And as it is the case for the cab drivers, we are talking about two straight lines. And what we identified here is the point at which they cross. They cross when the quantity of data is 10 and the price is 50. Another thing we might want to know is which one is cheaper for a quantity of data that is smaller than 10. Since those lines cross only once, the one that is cheaper below 10 is going to be the one that is the most expensive above 10 gigs and vice versa. All right, so let's take a quantity of data that is smaller than 10 and we will have to plug this quantity, this value of G into the two equations and see which one gives us the cheapest price. So let's go with the first equation first. And let's say we take five. So this G is going to become five. Four times five equals 20. We get 10 plus 20 equals 30. For a quantity of five gigabytes, the price with the first carrier is $30. With the second carrier, again, we take the same quantity of data, i.e. five. Three times five is 15. 
we get 20 plus 15 equals 35. The first carrier is the cheapest one for a quantity of data smaller than 10. So P1 smaller than P2 if G is smaller than 10. And once we have done that, we know that the opposite is going to be true for any quantity above 10 gigs. So carrier two will be the cheapest one if we consume more than 10 gigs in a month. Let's leave it here for now. And in the next video, we're gonna add a third carrier to our situation. Empower me first, don't go there, you see today.